Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where I am going to take a look at all of the new hulls for the British Royal Navy in 105. And there are quite a few, actually. Um, none of them are actually new uh, models. We're only getting one, and you can see my video uh, from yesterday about that. Um, but there are a lot of new options, uh, and yeah, well, let's just have a look, shall we? So I'm actually going to go to 1928, just to show you what I mean. So we have two new battle cruisers, the battle cruiser 4 and 5. I think, well, Britain already had a battle cruiser 5, and that is true. The battle cruiser 5 of old has now been renamed the battle cruiser 6, which is kind of your, your hood type ship. And there is a new, smaller, basically scaled down version of the hood hull um, that goes from 23,500 to 37,500. So this, to me, is something that would let you make possibly, you know, a, 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 a more kind of renowned-like version of hood. I'll just to see what the AI comes up with. Um, there's nothing particularly unusual about this it has the same sort of towers and funnels and guns that you were maybe you know used to with with british ships uh, really ai You're doing some funky things there i do love watching it work <laughs> it does come up with some very strange ideas i think i preferred the first one that it did Some really cursed things going on in the background here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I love watching the AI work. It is curious to see kind of how it... Well, I know it's, it, it doesn't think as such. But kind of the process is, is going through. I wonder what causes it to reject a design... Because that is fucking awful. <laughs> the first one was better. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, the towers are. Much for muchness. Funnels are all ones we've seen before. I don't think you get any particularly. Only, you get quite a lot of choice. In the secondary tower actually. Uh, which is nice. Let you make. Quite a lot of different. Um, styles of ship. So yeah, we, we have uh, this new Battlecruiser 5. Yeah, discard that hideous thing. We also have a new Battlecruiser 4, which I think is actually a Japanese hull, maybe, originally. But it has the British towers on it, some of which uh, don't quite fit. But you, you, can, you can build a more kind of brawlery type... Again, you get some whole that whole hull looks like it's been stretched to me. Um, but yeah, you could build some interesting things with that. I think. I think you could definitely get a nice uh, a nice battle cruiser out of that. Hmm. Yeah, fifteen mark threes. Um, yeah. It does look a bit odd. It definitely looks like it has been stretched. But yeah, you could you could build something, I don't know, like that. Like that. Wow, really? <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you could build a pretty nice, pretty nice vessel, something, something along those lines, maybe? Yeah, that's not a bad looking. Not a bad looking ship. So yeah, you got the 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 new five and the four, and the old five has been renamed the six. So some more kind of mid range uh, battle cruisers in the kind of thirty five 
yeah, 30 to 35,000 ton range, which is very nice. Uh, but that is not all. The British also get a whole bunch of new Dreadnought designs. Um, most of them are early Dreadnoughts, available up until 1915. And uh, the first... So th this is the Dreadnought 1 that we've always had. Well, not always had, but we've had for a long time. Dreadnought 2 is basically just a bigger, a bigger version of that. Um, kind of a supersized version of Dreadnought. Um, the Dreadnought 3, though... This is the new Vondertin model, um, but as a British Dreadnought, which is very interesting. And the 4 is, and the 5 are basically bigger versions of it. Um, and I will come back to that and build... Uh, I, might, I might actually do a build of that, because that is, that is really curious. Um, but uh, what kind of towers do you get? Oh, okay. Very curious. Hmm. Very curious indeed. What kind of secondary towers do you get? Yeah, the standard kind of British towers. Very interesting. Um, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of raised... <laughs> <gasps> Poor castle, but yeah. What's the AI come up with with this? Hideous things. Oh well, that was quick. Look at that, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, interesting, interesting vessels that you can uh, produce with that. Not sure I'm a huge fan. Anyway. Um, we shall see. And then you also get a bunch of Dreadnoughts that are available all the way up until 1926. Um, so from 1916. And these are the new Dreadnought 5 and 6. The old Dreadnought, I think, 4 has been renamed the Dreadnought 7. So this was the Dreadnought 4 that we could build before. But there's a new Dreadnought 5, which is an even, even bigger version of the um well it's the same one i was showing before but it's available all the way up until 1926 um i don't think you get any different towers on it though no you don't and you get a new dreadnought six now this to me i think will look like a bit like a queen elizabeth um this is basically a non modernized version of the modernized dreadnought i think uh the modernized dreadnought is a year later Yes. So it's kind of the unmodernized dreadnought, if you see what I mean. This one. Um so yeah, this is this is kind of a a base model Queen Elizabeth. And it is first available in nineteen sixteen. So you can you can uh, you can make a Queen Lizzie, which is which is pretty cool. Um and the last new vessel is actually a light cruiser and this is available for not just britain but also spain china austria hungary italy and the usa it's available all the way up until 1920 um but it is this an old light cruiser i'm pretty sure this is actually an armored cruiser hull that has been re rejiggered to uh, be a light cruiser uh, you can do some pretty funky things with it. Um, it's certainly not bad as a light cruiser. Obviously pre-Dreadnought era. Yeah, I think it'll do quite well. Kind of very end of the pre-Dreadnought kind of stage of the game. Um, because, yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice hull for just spamming a whole bunch of small guns. And a few torpedo launchers. Um, are they going to be particularly useful up into the 1920s? Probably not. 
because the light cruisers become less and less useful. But yeah, new light cruiser three. Yes, I think I'm definitely going to have a look at that new Dreadnought five. Let's see what we can do with you. Um, make you as big as possible. <laughs> um, just to see what we can squeeze out of it performance-wise. Yeah, the towers are actually pretty shockingly bad. Um, oh, you can't put it down there. Okay. I hate having the forward tower that far forward. That is genuinely horrible. Um, oh, I did, oh, this is a horrible design. I get a lot of funnel options, though. Um, right. Smoke. Mm, that is close, but yeah, I think one of those is not a bad option. Put it here on the rear tower. There's definitely a hole that I think a Q turret <laughs> is a sensible option for. And weirdly, I think I might go for a rather unusual gun option. Um. I'm going to go for a Q X uh, triples. It's not something I use a lot <laughs> by any means. But weirdly, I think on this hole, that is actually appropriate. Yeah, let's go AQX. Um, go five inch guns for the casements and two inch. You could fit secondaries in, in here. Tad overweight. Uh, standard bulk is fine. Uh, I do not need that much range. Uh, range is huge because I increased the draft. Um, let's increase speed until we lose the engine efficiency. It's nice you don't have to find something hidden over here to do that anymore. Yeah, engine efficiency. Well, how fast could we make this? We go as fast as 30 knots, but that seems uh, excessive. Uh, what about 26? Yeah, 26. Could we go down to induced boilers for that? Yes, we could. What about naturals? No. But induced will work. That'll do. Um, armor. Do not need decks that thick. Um, well predict turret. Uh, optic conning tower. Uh, 
And I think that's pretty much us. Hmm. A little bit of a four weight offset still. There we go. Uh, yeah, very weird setup for me. Um, I mean, three triples is fine, but it's a bit weird to, to have a... Well, it's not flush decked at all, because you've got this going on at the front. But, uh, yeah, let's take her out for a spin. to see what the enemy comes up with. I noticed that uh, battle load times are a little bit longer with the new update. This is pretty common um, after a new update. So the game kind of has to get re-optimized. Okay. Oh my goodness, USA. You're using one of your uh, new hulls as well. Well, that can wait for a future video. It's a weird ship. Very weird. something. Torpedoes coming towards us. No, not avoid that correctly. Bugger. Right, there goes the destroyer. <laughs> Age Mask Battlecruiser, cool. 
That looks... Yeah, that... Wow! <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of guns on the front there. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, good hit. Come on, let's gotta put the Galveston down. Surely. Uh, Needs to take on their battleship. Getting too much damage not to. hits. Torpedo ships, but the Helena over there has some. Mind you, the Arizona's not exactly looking too hot herself. Down she goes. But uh, we'll be uh, partial pen to death, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I haven't been super impressed with this hull so far. It's not like I'm like, oh wow, this is a, this is an amazing one. Um, but uh, it, it is interesting, at any rate. Well, let me know what you think down in the comments, and uh, I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.